All right, let's dive into this Power Mac G5 teardown. First, remove the aluminum side door and the plastic airflow cover. Lay the G5 on the side and organize your screws. I used labeled Ziploc bags. Start with the easy stuff. Remove the hard drives by lifting them out, then slide out the DVD drive after disconnecting the IDE and power cables. Next, pull up the front inlet fan and remove the RAM sticks. Now, take off the G5 cover to access the water cooling system and processors. Remove the speaker and fan assemblies by unplugging their cables. Unclip the inlet frame from the radiator. Time to remove the graphics card. Undo the single screw, lift the retention tab, and carefully pull it out. Now disconnect the processor support bar cable. To remove the water cooling system and processors, you'll need long hex drivers. Take the top and bottom screws and the two securing the bracket. Then remove the six long processor mounting screws. Now's a good time to remove the rear fan. Press down on the tab and slide it inward, feeding the cable through. Next, take out the processor terminal screws and the radiator screws. Then carefully lift the entire cooling assembly out. Move to the front panel board, disconnect the power cable, remove the two screws, and slide the board out. Now in the PCI section, remove the two screws holding the PCI card guide, then unscrew and remove the PCI divider. For the logic board, disconnect all cables, remove the nine bus bar screws, and take out the six logic board standoffs. Remove three mounting screws, slide the board left, and lift it out. Lastly, for the 1000 watt power supply, remove its top cover screws, then the four screws securing it at the bottom. Slide the power supply forward and lift it out. Click this link in the short to view the full teardown video.